Is there anything like the night before a vacation? I don't think so. Somehow, laundry becomes more exciting because the clothes that you're washing will be worn on vacation. But we got our nails done. We are fueled today solely on coffee and Snickers. Not joking. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I thought that it would be fun to bring you along with me as I pack for my vacation that we're leaving for tomorrow. We are going to Europe, which I am so, so thrilled about. The country that we're going to is one that I hold so near and dear to my heart. It's one of my absolute favorite places on this earth and I can't wait to show you guys where we're going. Um, but I thought that for today, it would be fun to walk you through the beauty products, hair care, makeup, skincare that I'm gonna be bringing on this trip so you can kind of get a feel for my thought process as I pack for an international trip, what products I prioritize bringing over others, etc. Now, I will say this is not your video on how to not overpack for a vacation or how to condense all of your products so that you bring as few as possible and you only take what's necessary on an international trip. No, no, no. I know that the amount of makeup, skincare, etc. that I'm going to be bringing is not what a normal person would bring and I don't want to hear about it. Like, I know who I am, I own this, um, and if you're watching this video, you are likely in the same company. I do prioritize like having versatility in my makeup when I go on vacation. Uh, planning my outfits is super easy for me, that's kind of like a no-brainer, but I do think about how the makeup that I'm gonna be wearing will work with those outfits, and so I want to, again, I wanna have options, but I do want to obviously make it easy to travel with, um, so that it's not like an overwhelming majority of my suitcase that I'll be bringing on, obviously. If you're new here, hi, my name's Molly. This is my new YouTube channel, The Beauty of It All. I talk about makeup tips and tricks here. We go over product reviews and recommendations and talk about looks that are really easy to recreate in your own home. So I'd love for you to subscribe, like this video, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. But without further ado, we're grabbing this bag, we're gonna fill it with some makeup, and let's just get right to it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with skincare first because that's probably gonna be the most straightforward. So definitely gonna bring these two serums, my vitamin C and then my niacinamide. I always like to start out in the morning with these guys. And then for moisturizer, I'm just gonna stick with the La Roche-Posay, the Double Repair Moisturizer. It's just a really good basic moisturizer and it's also uh, easy to travel with. The packaging is relatively slim. For SPF, uh, I set both of these out. I'm kind of torn. This Naturium one is definitely much thicker and like more moisturizing, but I'm really loving this Innisfree. Um, it's really great for color correcting. It lays really well under makeup, but I definitely don't need to bring both. I think I'm actually gonna go probably with the Naturium. It's, the name is scratching off, but this is Naturium's um, The Duplo Moisturizer. Uh, primarily because just knowing that the country we're gonna go to the weather is a little bit cooler right now and then just with like dehydration from the plane and all of that I think it's probably better to be overhydrated for this trip so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this one I had set out the B Goldie and D bronzing drops from drunk elephant I love mixing just both of these into my moisturizer in the morning but I do not probably need both of these for the trip. They're not the smallest things in the world to bring um, and definitely more of like a nice to have added in the skincare routine. So I think I'm gonna pass on these, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring, this is just the eye cream that I've been using lately from First Aid Beauty. It's just a hydrating eye cream. I feel like it's just a really straightforward eye cream, but I've really been enjoying it and it lays really well under makeup. So I'll use this for morning and nighttime on the trip. I am also gonna go ahead and bring my mini Tower 28 SO OS spray. Um, this is just going to be good to have on hand like if I need a refresh after the plane um, or just if I'm feeling my skin is feeling a little irritated from some of the travel. So I'll bring this one. Also just didn't plan that with the nails but wow that is like spot on. And then for nighttime skincare these are the two serums that I've been using. Um, the Dr. Jart Sycopare is amazing if you have rosacea or just um, irritated skin and then this glow recipe uh, pomegranate firming serum has been really nice as well um, it's got great peptides and it lays really nicely on the skin i'm also going to bring my faded topical serum i have been using this more regularly over the past month and i actually really like it and i feel like my face is looking a little bit brighter 
maybe a little less discolored. So I do also wanna bring this, um, I use this only at night though. Um, and it says it on the packaging, but just so you know, if you're looking into this, you cannot use this product with retinol um, or BHAs and AHAs. Oh my gosh, like not my nails matching all of the packaging. Incredible. Laneige Sleep Mask. This, I just, I can't go without this at night. This, my lips are so, so dehydrated and this is the only thing that can kind of keep them moist overnight and then super exciting just riveting product but vaseline i just always travel with this i feel like this is just something that's always good to have on hand okay guys of course my lighting just went out but i have so much packing to do i cannot wait for my light to charge again so i apologize for the change in lighting but hopefully you understand um i was just saying i'm gonna bring this versed cleansing balm and then this naturium um cleanser i'm probably gonna run out actually of both of these while i'm on the trip so hopefully i can just finish them out um i can't say i particularly recommend this cleansing balm the um the eucalyptus scent in it is very strong and it can be irritating but we gotta use it up so we're taking both of these i like the cleanser though this has been nice and just kind of a good basic cleanser also forgot to mention for cleansers just always bringing my bioderma the first cleansing balm is okay it's not the strongest thing in the world so i'll usually start with this guy and then go on to the cleansing balm um, but this is good for just extra makeup remover as well these are the main hair care products that I'll be bringing. So I've got my Orbi dry texture spray for when I um, curl my hair and want to make sure that volume stays. My Moroccan oil hairspray, which I really just use kind of on the top of my head to control frizz. Um, I will bring my mini color wow. Um, I'll probably only use this once while I'm on the trip. I definitely don't use this every time, but um, this is just really great for making sure that your hair doesn't look too frizzy. It really helps with a heat protectant as well. And then this Amika Dream Routine. I've been loving this, you guys. If you haven't checked this out, I would definitely recommend it. Oops. Um, this is just a great kind of in-between wash hydration um, and it's like the way it absorbs instantly in your hair has been very impressive um, and this travel size will be great so I'm going to bring that and then I got just this mini sample of the K18 hair mask at work at Sephora. Um, I've really been liking it. Um, I've probably gotten at least like three or four uses already out of this mini. So I'm anticipating just using this probably once on the trip, um, but I just wanted to bring it to continue using it up. So these are the, the main hair products that I'll be bringing with me. And then a couple of last um, minute random items. Um, eye drops, my eyes get pretty itchy. Um, just this Caudalie hand lotion, um, that'll be great for travel. And then for fragrances, don't hate me. I, I kind of hate me for having this little De Janeiro, but um, it's fine for travel and more of just like a great quick everyday spritz. And then this is my, my actual perfume that I am obsessed with. It's the Jo Malone. This is the uh, Peony and Blush Suede. Um, it's a beautiful scent. It's actually perfect for spring if you're looking for something. I cannot recommend this enough. Um, great floral fragrance that's really light, it's very feminine, um, super, super pretty. So I'm gonna be bringing these as well. These, I think, are the three primers that I'm gonna be bringing. I love layering these two together for like a lighter, more natural makeup look. And then my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer will be great for those longer wear days where I need a little bit more oomph to my makeup hold. Um, so these are the three primers that I'll be bringing. Again, this is the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer and the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion, which is one of my all-time favorites. So here is where things get a little tricky and where I need to um, get a little more selective is with complexion. So I 100% know that I'm gonna be taking this Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette. I just did a video with this and I so thoroughly enjoy this palette. It is perfect. You can do an absolute full face of makeup with it. And the reason I know I'm gonna bring this is because I kind of just want to do an A-B test of like, is this palette enough for me? Like when I go on vacation, when I travel, like do I truly feel like I would just need this one palette? So I'm definitely gonna be bringing this, but I also know that I want to have a couple, like one, maybe two other complexion products where if this palette doesn't perform the way I hope it will, I know I'm still gonna be covered. So I think I'm, oh goodness. Um, I'm gonna take out the House Labs foundation just because it's quite heavy. It's a little clunky. Um, 
and I've just been using it a lot lately so I kind of want to give a little love to these guys here. The Hourglass Skin Tint is intriguing because I love how it would give me some extra hydration if I do think my skin is going to be dry. I'm probably going to pass on the Fenty Skin Tint Stick. Um, it, great product um, but I think for this trip I really want to focus on some hydration and so this is not dehydrating by any means but I just know that it's not going to give me like the most longevity and deepest hydration in my makeup. So I think I'll pass on that. Between these three, I think I'm for sure gonna take the Hourglass Skin Tint again, just because I know this is incredibly hydrating. It's really pretty for those more natural days, but it can be dressed up for a night out or something like that if I want. So I am gonna bring that. I think I'm going to lean towards the CL tint to protect because this summer friday skin tint gives me just about the same coverage as my hourglass one and so i don't think that i need both of those this one does have a little bit more of a medium coverage and so if i need something kind of like in between the hourglass skin tint and like the makeup forever foundation in the palette i think this might be a good in between um and also it just is so so beautiful and i just i'm really this is quickly becoming one of my favorite base products for the year so these three products are going to cover base and then obviously the makeup forever will also you know cover blush highlighter bronzer contour etc um but i am still going to bring others because again i want to see how much i gravitate towards this palette but i think with this we'll have a good mix of like skin tint more foundation and then cream foundation as well in addition to the liquids so i think this is a good mix these were the three concealers that I had laid out, the e.l.f. Um, camo concealer, my Bobbi Brown color corrector, and then the Natasha Denona concealer. This is a pretty easy decision for me. I think I'm just gonna nix this e.l.f. one and go with these two. Bobbi Brown, this color corrector is just fantastic if you guys haven't used it before. Super intuitive, you just rub your finger in it and it's very easy to use. And then Natasha Denona, this will be more of like a brightening concealer if I want to wear it over this. I can wear the Bobbi Brown on its own, but I think together these will be very pretty. So I'm gonna bring these two. Getting into blushes, these were the ones that I had set out. My Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand, for sure coming. I know I'm gonna bring this one. It's just a beautiful springtime blush, and I, I definitely wanna take that. Same for this Say highlighter. This is their Glow Sculpt in the shade Quartz Glow. I've talked about this a lot on my channel, but this is such a good product for like an all-in-one cheek product. It can be a bronzer, highlighter, combo can be worn as a blush so really versatile so i know i want to bring this and then between these two this is the new patrick ta blush that i got the, the shade not too much and then the dior rosy glow in the shade pink i think between these two i'm gonna go ahead and just bring the dior mainly because this patrick ta one is quite large and i also feel like i would need to bring my specific brush to use with that and then i don't and I don't quite want to do that. So I'm gonna nix Patrick Ta for this trip. Sorry, Patrick. For bronzer and contour, I already know I'm gonna keep this simple. I have been loving the Patrick Ta contour bronzer duo. However, it is quite bulky. And again, I need to bring a pretty specific brush to use it with. So for this trip, I'm just gonna bring the Milk Makeup Sculpt Stick. This is in the shade Toasted. And then my Handy Dandy um, House Labs bronzer. This is in the shade three, I believe. Yeah, light level three. Um, I just know these both perform really well. They they layer well on top of one another and I just kind of know they work. So we're gonna go with these two. I had set these three powders out. I guess I already know I do wanna bring my Huda Beauty Easy Bake. This is in the shade Cherry Blossom for an under eye brightener. And this is actually, this is kind of an easy decision too, I guess. I'm gonna bring my Invisimat by Fenty. Um, it's just, I mean, it's, more compact like it's just kind of a size thing um love the house labs translucent setting powder but for ease of travel and ease of mess i think i'm just gonna go with invisimat from fenty for this trip i want to keep the eyeshadows pretty simple for this trip i'm gonna bring my merit solo shadow in the, st the shade studio and then also this is the charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize in the shade champagne these are beautiful, but I will say they don't work the best on me in particular. Um, I have somewhat hooded eyes and I do find that it creases. However, 
when I layer these two products, this Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow does actually perform pretty well underneath the Merit one. Um, so I find that when I use them together, they work okay. Also keeping it simple with mascaras, this Rare Beauty mascara I just got at work at Sephora um, and I haven't really tried it out much. So between the two of these, I will be well covered for mascara and that's all I'm gonna bring. Highlighter, also gonna keep it simple. This is just the Merit highlighter. This is in the shade Citrine. Really beautiful highlighter. It's just kind of a nice balmy texture that looks super natural on the skin. Really easy for travel and it just, it wears pretty well. So I know I'm gonna like it. For eyeliners, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it pretty simple. I've got a, um, my brown Colfi eyeliner, my Bordeaux. Um, this is the Rare Beauty eyeliner in the shade Compassion. Super, super pretty um, eyeliner if you've not seen it. Again, just a really pretty Bordeaux color. And then I'm just gonna bring my Sephora eyeliner. This is in the shade Coconut to just line my waterline. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take out, this is the shade Anywhere Caffeine from these lip liners. Otherwise, I do think that they're all different enough to warrant bringing. This is Endless Cacao, uh, Wherever Walnut, Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury, the Sephora collection in um, Bad Apple and then the Hourglass Candid 5, which I love. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring all of these with me. Lips are where we have a little bit of excess and need to pare down. I think at most I should bring four of these, so I need to eliminate a few. One that I know I do wanna bring is this Fenty Beauty. This is the shade Fussy. It's this really pretty baby pink that I love with Endless Cacao. So I know I'm gonna wear that, but because I'm going to wear this, I think I'm probably gonna skip out on this Give. This is the Spark the Fire in the shade Love. They're, they're not exactly the same, but they're in the pink family, so I think I'm probably good on that. And then between these two, the Fenty Cream and the House Labs, I don't probably need both. This is definitely a much richer red, and this is more of a like a terracotta shade, but I think since I've already got now this, this one Fenty here, I'm probably gonna pass on this one. So I'll bring this House Labs PhD Lip Glaze and call that good. These two, um, this Makeup by Mario, this is in the shade Soho and it's really pretty. It's a really pretty coral, kind of peachy color. Um, and then this Merit, um, this is in the shade Slip. This is from their original formula, not the new matte one, but it's a really beautiful brown. Um, I probably don't see myself wearing this one as much on the trip, so I think I'll probably bring this one. And then I will bring the Lawless Forget the Filler because this is a nice topper to um, any lipstick, really. The my, These Super Satin lipsticks by Mario are decently hydrating, but I just always prefer to top it with a lip gloss, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that. So I think these four should do the trick. We should be good with these. And then lastly, just brows. Um, I actually had forgotten in my last video that I had the Benefit brow setter and then my precisely my brow. Um, so these got lost. I'm gonna go ahead and bring those, love them. And then I'm gonna bring my Lick NYX Lift and Snatch. As always, I'm gonna see if I do prefer using this brow powder on vacation, but I am gonna go ahead and bring this by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then um, my Rare Beauty brow gel, just because I feel like this has a slightly hold, stronger hold maybe than Benefit. Um, so I wanna have this on hand as well. Because I've got some room in here, I'm gonna go ahead and put m all of my hair care, but then also maybe some of my skincare in here as well. I think this is probably as full as I want it for right now. So the rest of the skincare and anything else that I haven't packed in here, I'm gonna go put in a separate little bag. 
Also forgot to mention, I'm just bringing a couple of eye masks and then my Dr. Dennis Gross, um, the facial peel pads. Um, I'm just planning on using these once. I only use these like once at most twice a week. Um, but then I also like to just have a couple of eye masks as well for the trip. Okay guys, I think we did it. I think we did it. No one ever said this was gonna be a pretty pack. Mm -mm. We did not say that. We said we would get it in the bag and we did. So I am super excited for this. Um, again, I know that this is not like a normal amount of makeup to bring on a trip for everyone for sure. Um, but this is just something that's you know really important to me. I prioritize it when I travel. So I wanted to bring you along to show you kind of what I prioritize. Um, but again, I think that some of this makeup is more of a test, right? So we want to see like that makeup forever palette. Am I actually gravitating towards it when I travel? Do I find that it's not actually that great when switching climates, locations, etc.? All of the things will report back. But if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Um, I am super excited about the community that we're building up. Um, I love beauty, makeup, all things in that realm. So I'm very excited to keep sharing that passion with you all. But again, my name is Molly and thank you guys so much for joining me to talk about the beauty of it all. Bye everyone.